More than 150,000 Rhode Islanders have had COVID since the pandemic started, including Armando Biseglia, the owner of Baco Vino in Cortoni in Providence. And as we've reported, he had a tough battle with the virus, spending 15 days on a ventilator. But he's one of the lucky ones. And new tonight, 12 News reporter Rob Nesbitt sat down with Armando at his home and talked with him about his new outlook on life. Rob joins us live from outside the state house with his story. Rob. Shannon, the state house is lit up blue tonight to celebrate the state reaching 1 million vaccines administered. Armando Biseglia says he's had a change of heart about getting his own vaccine card filled out. Easter Sunday this year is a bit of a blur for Armando Biseglia. Kind of a mental haze. I don't remember much of it. That's when the restaurant owner's battle with COVID took a turn for the worse and sent him to Rhode Island Hospital. I spent the better part of 30 days, you know, I'm on my, on my stomach with a tube in my mouth. It's it, it's it wasn't it wasn't fun. He can't remember what happened during the worst of it, but one doctor explained just how hard Biseglia's body had to fight against the virus. Pretty much gave him a grim diagnosis the minute they put me under. Um, it just you know there was a ton of prayers, there was a ton of people backing me up. Those prayers were answered when Biseglia was able to go from the hospital to rehab and then home, just in time for his 44th birthday on Monday. And around the same time, Rhode Island reached a milestone. One million doses of COVID-19 vaccine administered in Rhode Island. The state is also expanding vaccine eligibility this week. Those 12 to 15 years old can now receive two doses of the Pfizer vaccine with parents' permission. All the parents and families out there, there is a way to help keep your child healthy and safe. When it comes to vaccine hesitancy, Biseglia admits he had his own reservations about getting the shot until now. If this is going to somewhat put me to never go through this again, then I, I'm 100% behind. His way of thanking those who were 100% behind him, the staff and family who ran Baco while he was hospitalized, the community who raised nearly $40,000 for medical bills, and the hospital workers who made sure he made it out alive. This is all a gift, you know. I, 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 there's not a day that goes by that I don't feel like I should be here. Biseglia was able to finish his physical therapy, but he still has a ways to go before he's back to 100%. He says that his goal is to make it back to work at his restaurant by July 4th. Reporting live at the State House, I'm Rob Nesbitt, 12 News.